everybody. I'm so happy to be with you today. I'm Kara Willie, author of Breathe Like a Bear and a bunch of other books. And Breathe Like a Bear is a book of mindfulness. What is mindfulness, you might be wondering? Well, mindfulness is just paying attention to the present moment, which means right now, paying attention to what's happening inside our bodies and around us right now. And the tool we use to practice mindfulness most often is something we do all day, every day, our breath. Can you take a deep breath in and let it out? And when you practice simple mindfulness, Breathe Like a Bear is a book full of simple and fun ways to practice mindfulness. It can help us do things that can really be useful in school. It can help us focus, like pay attention, which is a really good thing, right? It can help us let go of stress, which nobody needs. It can help us calm ourselves down. Does anyone ever tell you to calm down when you're a little hyper or fidgety? Mindfulness can help. Okay, so our first exercise we're gonna try, these are two I'm gonna read that will help us focus. It's called Rainstorm. You gotta do this along with me, okay? Uh-oh, I think it might rain. Rub your hands together, just like this, to make the sound of the wind picking up. Keep rubbing them. Now tap your hands slowly on your lap. It's starting to rain. Can you hear the sound? Get faster and faster. Now it's pouring. We're gonna get soaked. Lightning, clap your hands up high. Thunder, stomp your feet. Lightning, clap your hands up high. Thunder, stomp your feet. Tap those hands on your lap again. It's really raining. How fast can you go? Now start to slow them down. I think the rain might be stopping. Rub your hands together to make the sound of the wind. Slow it down, slow it down and stop. Everything is still and quiet. Yeah. Can you take a long breath in and let it out? Good. Okay, here's another one to help us focus our attention and our energy. It's called funny breath. Sit up tall and hold your body still. Make sure you're doing this at home. Make funny paws with your hands. Take quick little bunny breaths in through your nose. Sniff, 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 sniff. And then let the air all the way out. Do it again. Take quick little bunny breaths in through your nose. Sniff, 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 sniff. And then let the air all the way out. Now put one hand on your belly. See if you can feel your belly muscles working. Take quick little bunny breaths in through your nose. Sniff, sniff, sniff. And then let the air all the way out. <sighs> Grab a carrot for a snack. <sniffs> Crunch. Maybe rub your belly and say, mmm, that's bunny breath. Okay, I mentioned there were three things that mindfulness can really help us with, right? It can help us focus our attention, it can help us let go of stress and it can help us calm down. So we did two that can help us focus our attention. Let's do one that helps us let go of stress. This is called scrunch and let go, and make sure you're doing it at home. Okay, scrunch up your toes. Make all the muscles in your legs really strong. Pull your belly in and squeeze the muscles in your arms. Make your hands into fists and scrunch up your face. If you want to even squeeze your eyes shut, now take a long breath in, and as you let the air out, slowly let all those muscles go. Take another long breath in, and as you let the air out, let your whole body relax. And you can do this again as many times as you like. Okay. So we did some mindfulness to help us focus. We did some to get rid of stress. Nobody needs stress. What's the third thing I said mindfulness could help us with? Calming ourselves down, right? This is a fun one and an easy one to 
help our, help ourselves calm down. It's called hot chocolate. Here we go. Imagine you're holding a cup of hot chocolate in your hand. It's much too hot to take a sip. So you need to blow on it to cool it off. Bring your cup up close to you. Take a long breath in and slowly blow the air out to cool off your hot chocolate. Take another long breath in and slowly blow the air out. Now take a tiny little sip of your hot chocolate and say, mmm. Make the mmm sound last as long as you can. Try it again. Take a tiny little sip and say, mmm. Put your hot chocolate down. Take a long breath in and let the air all the way out. I don't know about you, but I feel calmer already. Let's do one more for calm. This is a fun one, especially with the fall coming up. You'll see what I mean. Perfect timing. Bear breath. Pretend you're a bear hibernating for the winter. When bears hibernate, they'd breathe slowly in and out through their noses. Take a long breath in through your nose and let it all the way out. And take another long breath in through your nose and let it all the way out. Feel how cozy and safe you are in your bear cave. Take one more really long, slow breath in through your nose and let the air all the way out. All right, friends, we're going to do one last exercise from Breathe Like a Bear. And this one is a little different. It's about kindness. Think of something kind you've done for someone. Maybe you helped someone in your family with something at home or you helped a friend at school. Think of something kind that someone else did for you. How did it make you feel? Now, think of something kind that you haven't done yet, but you will the next time you have the chance. Is there someone you could help or say some kind words to? Try to remember to do that kind thing when you can. Thank you so much, friends.